Hello everyone, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Hope you're enjoying our amazing ride today on the Fluid Art Express with all our famous artists that we've got here for you today. Sham B was just before me. Absolutely amazing artist. Couldn't love her more. So, what I'm thinking today is we've done a few weeks of um, different um, styles and ways you can do radial swipes. But this week I thought we might just... Um, have a swipe week. I've been playing with these for the last two days so I thought while it seems to be working reasonably well we might go with it. So what I'm going to start with today I've got this gorgeous quinacridone red violet by Artilia. And we're going to start with that one first. Beautiful tube paint. So I'm just going to lay my colours today up the wings of my gorgeous butterfly I have here. It's, um, I really like the way um, Venom actually makes these ones for me because they've got a little bit more of a um, thicker wing. You've got more span. It's, it's a bit more chubbier. But a lot more room to play. No, dear, I wasn't talking about you being chubby. <laughs> Just to make that clear, since you're standing there looking at me, it's the butterfly wings. That's good. Excellent. Glad to make you smile. Absolutely. All right, so that's our first one down. Now, this is a gorgeous colour, this. This is my go-to when I run out of um, this little piggy's Grenache. This one is actually a super red russet. Beautiful little pigment, and it's by Perlex. So look at that. Really is divine. But, I will admit, I do prefer the Piggy's Grenache over this one. Only because I think the Piggy's version's just got that little bit more depth to the red. It's more like a blood red with a glitter. Which is stunning. So I'm just going to make sure I'm sort of just laying my colours pretty evenly both sides. And I really can't get enough of these colours. Alright, so I think we've got enough of that one now because it can take over if you're not careful. I think what we might go for now is my new favourite all-time piggy. Stunning Inferno. It's a gorgeous fluoro red. It just pops. And use it with the right colours. It really highlights everything. Really beautiful. I actually love using it on top of Grenache. Just gives it that little bit of something. Alright, I think that's enough of that one. Now we might move on to... Another one of my favourites, this little piggy mosh, really beautiful colour this, really beautiful. Only thing I notice with orange is, you just got to get that amount just right, or it really can take over. One thing I've noticed too, when you do these butterflies, you've really got to allow for the way the wings spin out compared to the centre. So because of the type of swipe I want to do today, I've only got a thick pillow on these two sections and the rest I've actually spun right out. Just um, in hope that it's going to move in the directions I want across these wings. And I know from doing blooms on these that um, whatever's in the centre, more it, it just spins out very differently. I think that's a good tip to remember actually when you're doing different shapes. Always do a practice piece first just so you can see how the different shapes will spin the paint out. Like with these ones, they seem to sit more heavy in the middle. 
I think we definitely need an interference colour in here. Now let's just see. And I've just picked up a random one because if you've ever been to Venom's Garage, never a shortage of interference. Pretty lucky for me. He does love them. That's a good thing with interference too, just the differences you get from using a black or a white pillow. It's good to explore both. Alright. We'll put that one down. Oh, this is this is becoming my second favourite to Inferno. Another amazing this little piggy. And it's boogie. Look at that. Makes you want to dance. Gorgeous. I definitely happy dance when I use it. Now I might put this one on the inside here. A little bit there. Because I just didn't want to put the um, lighter orange, the mosh, over the top of the super red russet. Now, I think we need what most things need in this world, a little bit of lemon sorbet. Always my go-to for highlights. Stunning colour just goes with everything. And it really does. I love it in a swipe because when it pops its head through, it's really divine. And a little bit of elegance about it, this one. So I think for what I want to do, that's going to be more than enough colour. Hopefully I haven't got too carried away. Now, just wipe my stick off. Now we'll grab our swipe tool and we'll do the first wing. After we, no, I'm not going to pop them bubbles today. Experiment swipe week. Let's just see what happens. We'll run the gauntlet. Alright. I think that's going to be a perfect amount. Let's see if we can get some ghosties on the edge of this. Alright. Number one. So far so good. So the good thing is now where we do have a few thicker puddles, we're going to do the other side. So we'll just see what that's going to do in the meantime. Let it sink a bit. Problem is if you stand there staring at it, it can take forever. We will get impatient then and grab the straw. But we're going to just let it do its thing. Now, we'll do this other wing. Oh, look at those pop through. Now we'll let that sun now. This is a good thing because while we're working on two sides, we'll let the one we just did sink a bit. And we might just have a play on this side because see where that was all really dark. Didn't look like that any cells were going to pop through. They're coming through. So when we spin that and it starts to go out to the sides, we're going to get some really cool ghost cells happening there because there's still enough cell activator on the outside. That's pretty cool. All right, let's have a play and see what we can do with this butterfly. See if we can give him the justice he deserves.
Now I don't think we want to go too crazy because that's quite pretty in the center there the way that swipes come out. But I think we just want something a little here. All right, I think that wing looks pretty cool, right? Let's see, now this one's sink, still sinking down here, so I'm going to leave that in just for a little minute, just till I see what it's going to do. Because we might not have to do a thing. That's actually like a butterfly sh colour scheme there with the shape like the monarch butterfly. Quite like that. Actually like here, I don't know if you can see that there, but this has got all white coming through from the pillow where it's actually made some gorgeous cells. So that was a bit of a um, drawer of luck on that one I think. I think it was Definitely just wasn't planned. Fantastic swipe. <laughs> Thank you. That's what that was. Yeah, it definitely wasn't planned that bit. I just got a really nice surprise when I sang that. Nailed it. Thank you for your vote of confidence there, Venom. Absolutely. Maybe I'll just change that bit like that doesn't really need a great deal there because it's going to spin a lot that way anyway. As we've learnt with the butterfly wings. Yeah, I think what we might do now guys is um... Yeah. Oh, one more. Bit like venom there just got to stick that skewer in just one more time <laughs> all right now let's just make sure we don't have any of them pesky bubbles and if we do they pop through with a little bit of color because that would be pretty cool yeah they did we got some pinks and lemon sorbet coming through those bubbles awesome so I think we'll take her off there now and we'll put her down and let's just see what she's going to do for us. We might just spin her slow. I just want to get it open up right across them wings, hopefully, hopefully. Now what I might do is I'm going to bring that down. Just so we get that moving that way down to the base of the butterfly for us. Just so this is how it's coming out now. That's really cool. Definitely digging that. Now I think that's one more. Now we'll put that back for a minute. I just want to make sure no more bubbles have resurfaced there. Because there's nothing worse than coming back the next day. And there was and they popped bad. Doesn't make you smile politely. Alright, I think we'll give this one more spin now it's centred. And that will even up them cells for us. And I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to leave the antenna alone and the center we're going to leave just like that. That way the wings are the ones that are actually the beauty of the butterfly. Alright, I'll just get rid of some of this. Now one thing I have learnt, only ever from past mistakes, trial and error, the only way we all learn, always scrape those sides. Never think it looks like it's fine, check it. <laughs> Definitely not worth being so excited about a stunning piece and coming back the next day and wondering what happened. 
because it's usually we happened. Got too excited and walked away. Alrighty, so what I might do is get my amazing cameraman to zoom that in so you can have a good look at those cells. But I think that's enough for our butterfly. Sometimes less is best and, <coughs> excuse me, give it a little bit of elegance. Didn't that Grenache really steal the, sh not the Grenache, sorry, the um, Inferno and the Boogie. You can see the lemon sorbet just highlights through the middle. Amazing piggy colours. Definitely did our butterfly justice. So I must put out a big huge shout out. Our next and our special guest of the day today is the amazing Andrea Karen, wearing your art on your sleeve. She's a beautiful person and such a talented artist. I think you're really going to love what she's got to offer next after me today. And I think she'll bring lots more in um, time to come. So click that link, guys, and follow Andrea onto the chat and give her the best Fluid Art Express welcome you can. Thanks, guys. So that is me for t this week. Hope you enjoyed. And I will, pretty sure I'll see you on the next Student versus Teacher. So until then, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day.